Over three days, October 7th through 9th, I attended the United States Dressage Federation Region 3 Dressage Championships and the Atlanta National Fall Dressage Show, which took place at the Georgia International Horse Park simultaneously. I want to share this show with you, so let's get going. The Georgia International Horse Park is a 1,400-acre venue, and it was the site of the 1996 Centennial Olympics, which took place in Georgia. That's where all of the equestrian sports of those Olympics took place. Be sure to stick around till the end of the video because I want to share a dressage show tip with you and some resources. The show was hosted by the Georgia Dressage and Combined Training Association, which you can find on Facebook. I will be linking contact information for all of the organizations I mentioned below. Because there were two shows going on simultaneously, a championship show and qualifying, this was a very big event. There were five barns all filled with horses. There were seven rings and Friday, Saturday, Sunday from eight in the morning until four in the afternoon, there were tests going on simultaneously at each of these rings. Day sheets were posted each day with the time of tests, what ring they were in, what horses and riders were going at what time, and you could also check scores. The sport of dressage is judged individually. A horse and rider comes in, they do their test at whatever level they're showing, they leave the ring, and then the next horse and rider comes in, and it's one after the other until the end of that test. Then they compute the scores and figure out who is first, second, third, and fourth in that test. At these concurrent shows, there were tests going from training level all the way up to fourth level, which is the highest U.S. dressage test. And then you move on to the FEI, which is the International Equestrian Federation test. They are uniform tests that go from pre-St. George, intermediate one, intermediate two, and then the highest test, the most difficult ultimate test in dressage, Grand Prix. Grand Prix is what is shown at the Olympics. There were riders entered into all of these levels at this weekend. You could watch anything you wanted to from training level all the way up to Grand Prix. So it was really exciting. Enjoy some of the scenes from the show. In addition to the tests and the horses and riders, you could also shop. There were apparel shops, equipment, saddle, boots, anything you could think of. You could find it here. And there were food trucks, so you could also get refreshments and relax. My dressage show tip is to try not to focus on the ribbons and the placements. Think of the show as a learning experience and part of your journey with your horse. You can use the judges scores and comments as a way to focus your training to look at where you need to improve. My horse Pippa and I have been to schooling shows and we've been to clinics and both of these are great ways to get prepared for a rated show if you haven't been to one yet. I'm linking above a video I did on the dressage training scale, which will give you a lot of background information into the sport of dressage. And I'd like to hear from you. Leave any questions or comments you have below, especially any show tip information. Everybody at the channel would love to hear your tips about going to rated shows. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.